Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. We're on our way to 4,000 subs. We're going to be doing a video on my Millum. She's not done yet. I have a video coming later uh, this week. Well, I guess in a couple days. That will be showing off my new style for RTA. Uh, but we're going to be showing off Millum today since that is something you guys have been asking for. And my Millum is a damage Millum. I also have her on this currently. I do plan on changing this when I can to the one that allows me to um, use uh, whenever Dragon Fear acquire, uh, defeats enemy, which is our ultimate, acquire one extra focus. I do think I'm going to go with that one or opt for that one instead because of how she's built. She's built to do damage. Uh, I have already stated in a video that I know my, my crit chance is not... 100% uh, chance, but with a little switch of an artifact, or not an artifact, with a little switch of a gear piece, which I'll be able to do once I finish my Leica's helmet from the events, it will be no problem to get 99%. So her actual stats will look closer to this. Uh, she'll be getting 9% more crit damage, 4% more crit chance, 3 more speed. I might up her speed more, maybe in the future, maybe go 240. I haven't decided yet, and then still at the 3,541 uh, damage marker for her attack she has one imprint i would love to get more copies of her i do like her a lot she's on the book because i do use her to be something that wants to proc dragon busters so the more soul burns i get the more ideally more benefit i can get out of her ideally for s2 now millum overall isn't amazing uh for turn two turn one she she can go anywhere she's just an overall amazing unit i think she is uh very flexible into many different drafts uh, so we're going to break down her kits. Uh, here are my stats right now, but you guys already saw the stats afterwards. Whenever I do switch her build, she'll be dropping some attack, but getting more crit chance and a little bit more crit damage. So I'm still going to keep her on two-piece pen, uh, four-piece speed, because I feel like that works. I am going to switch this to the uh, Dragon Fear one, because I feel like that's going to be really powerful, especially if you are able to get those early kills. And other than that, it, it does how I plan to build her. Uh, damage Millum because it does work for how I play. So let's go ahead and talk about her. So her uh, S1 Dragon Dra Dive attacks the enemy, recovering uh, health proportional to the damage dealt before increasing attack of the gas for one turn. So she gives herself attack increase on her S1. So ideally, you slow burn S1 and you pop her S3. Very powerful. Her S2 Dragon Eyes Millum Eye um, at the start of battle and the end of the turn has 100% chance to grant Dragon Eye. Millimai to the caster for one turn. When the caster is granted uh, Millim's Eye at the start of the turn, dispel stealth from all enemies, ignore effect resistance when focus is full. After attacking, consumes all focus to activate Dragon Buster. Dragon Buster attacks all enemies with overwhelming mana, removing 10 souls. So she's getting uh, stealth. Uh, she's able to knock things out of stealth, or she's able to spot things out of stealth. So anything but Spectre Tenebria she can spot. So anything on a Guiding Light, is what she can spot, uh, which is really handy. So, like, Landy's, no more safety. Uh, then she did her ultimate Dragon Sphere. It causes extinction. So, releases mana to attack the enemy, inflicting extinction. When the enemy is defeated, increases the evasion of the caster for three turns. When the enemy is not an elite boss or a monster, damage sharing effects are ignored. And then she also increases her own evasion by 50%. She's got a lot of utility. She is a utility fire damage unit. That's also a mage that has more utility because then she has access to book. And she's actually, even though she's a bit slower because of her stats, it uh, doesn't really matter because she's got evasion. She gives herself attack up. She's got lifesteal if you want her to put on this artifact. She'll get lifesteal even more off, just off her S1. Uh, extra turn in her kit. She, she's just an endless uh, thing of lifesteal. She can spot stealth units. She, she is awesome. Uh, if I were to change her in any way, I would just make her faster. But that's because I'm greedy but she, she's she's nearly perfect whenever i can make her do more dragon busters with that uh focus thing i'll probably like it more but i think any of the equipment that you pick except for the one that does extra damage it will be beneficial i think the only one that i wouldn't recommend is the extra damage one i think um because i don't even think it's necessary right let's see uh increases damage dealt by dragon buster like why would you do that when you need to get it to like get it to get it right so yeah i think that one's the worst one like if it was increased damage dealt on her ultimate i would consider it but the only two options that i see that are actually good are going to be the dragon's dive recovery one and then the uh dragon fear one those are the only two good ones i would 
really honestly say are worth it, right? Um, because you might not be able to get Dragon Buster without that extra focus if they focus mill them, right? So we're going to go into this now and actually take a peek. My bad for stalling. So here's what the uh, match was looking like. This guy was actually, is his uh, MMR or his, uh, his, his ELO was higher than mine by quite a bit, by like 200. So he was actually, you know, a bit higher than me. So he got first pick. I went with, uh, he went with Arwell. So I was like, all right, I'll go Raz and Destino. He went with um, Aiden here. Very strange pick. I guess he wanted to take her away. I don't know. I think Aiden's a weird pick at number two. I, I feel like she's a better suited for number three, but technically that is number three because he had two picks there. And then he went May Chloe because I picked Destino. So I opted for Man Landy and Milam because I like those two together. He went with Ar Arya and then Shu. So I went Zahawk and he banned out the Landy. So uh, he banned Landy. I banned this. I don't say I could have probably banned. I could have probably just banned the uh, Arya and just destroyed the. Uh, the Aiden, I suppose, with my Zahawk. I don't know. I feel like I won the draft just a little bit. I could have probably picked a better ban option, like maybe ban the shoe or the Aria, but I decided to opt for the ban on Aiden because I really thought they were just going to ban out the Zahawk. I feel like the ban here was Zahawk, right? That's just my thinking. Oh. Uh, the bans were I banned Conklulius and Blind. He banned uh, Karina and Fulitica. Two random bans. Anyway, let's go ahead. It's quite a lengthy game. Uh, we're right even. How many turns this, this game is a 45 turn game. Good God. Is that good enough for you, Car? Am I turn two player now? He doesn't watch my videos, to be honest. It would be funny if he did, though. Any comment below? Uh, he might. Who knows? Anyway, uh, we have opening turn with Zahawk. So I'm like, well, if I get rid of Maid Chloe instantly, I already have the advantage due to him not having revive. This is why I always like, uh, when I talk about the video that I'm going to have out in a few days, or maybe tomorrow, I don't know my scheduling, um, I, I say the benefits of Maid Chloe, but I also say the downfall is that she's just a lot squishier than Destina, so you can just get rid of her before she even becomes a problem, right? Like, look at that, it's not even hard to get rid of her, it's really simple, and that's the reason why I don't like Maid Chloe, like, sure, she gives you that effect resistance, but she doesn't give you that survivability that Destina gives, Destina's just a lot tankier, and therefore being a lot more valuable to me when it comes to early picks, right? Because I had no, like, reason to be afraid of made chloe except for the revive but if you kill her then who cares so i realized that my uh destiny is a bit fast i actually might slow her down is that a good idea let me know in the comments below if i should slow her down for more hp she's got twenty thousand hp 1400 defense and 214 speed i could remove 45 speed out of her for more health um, because she feels a bit fast, but I think it's okay that she's a bit fast. I don't know, though. I honestly don't know what her, her speed should be, because I, I just, she's, like, it's my first time using an actual, like, tanky healer, and it just felt a little awkward. Luckily, uh, Milum is a beast and dodges. I swear her dodge rate is actually um, higher than Aiden's and, uh, and um, Rylet's. She dodges so much, it's ridiculous. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is. Um... So now it's just pretty much a waiting game. It's pretty much the, the whole thing here now is to just slowly down, burn down their tank and then slowly burn down the Aria. Like, it's, it's a slow process of, well, since I'm going to be here for 45, 40 something turns, just don't get hit. If I get hit, revive and re like sustain again, right? Because I have a very tanky frontline that they can't just tear through. Like, you're not killing Destiny or Aras because my Aras has got 28,000 HP. Uh, so he's pretty healthy. Also, the dual attacks with Aroz, with the Milum, is, it, it's, it's, it's satisfying. Like, making that a thing is satisfying. I, I found another little, cheat, like, I don't want to call it cheese comp, but a little combo I like doing. Dual attack plus Milum, satisfying, the more you know. Um, I think I pop the S2 here to heal up the Milum, because her health is, uh, not ideally where you want it. So I had, I had uh, some people, well not some, uh, there was uh, a vet in my Discord, still there, still friends, that was saying they don't know if damage is going to work or not, um, because she never really worked before, 
because of how like uh with her getting the equipment now it, it's a bit different i feel like now damage melum is actual like a legitimately good and as you can see in this video or at in this rta match the the work she's pretty putting in as not like she doesn't have a lot of health she doesn't have a lot of defense she's just got a lot of damage decent speed and no she's just damage oriented and the damage she can do is quite impressive even against blue units whenever she lands those crits against those blue units uh she hurts so I really like that. I really like that um that option for me to go damage millum. Now is it as uh, as good as probably a counter millum that's tankier? Is it? I don't know. Is it better than like a fast landy? I think so. Um, but only if you have a way to keep her alive, sustain her, and mitigate some of that damage for her. Because like obviously, if I didn't have a tank here and she was able to just get poked and hit, she would die, right? But since I have Aras and Destina, I don't care that my uh, my millum is a bit squishier. Because she's doing the damage. She's solo carrying this game for me. She's legitly my solo carry, which was why I drafted her. I wanted to see if it would work. And the fact that she took on an Arya and a Shu by herself tells me that, yes, it can work. Is it ideal? Probably not for everyone because it can just ban your Metagator. And that puts more pressure onto your Melum, right? Um, but in this case, they banned my Landy because of the Arya buffs, I guess. It's, now that I think about it, that makes sense. Like, look at that. The damage she just chunked there. And then on top of that, she's gonna crit again with Dragon uh, Buster. Milam's probably my new favorite uh, collab unit. Like, don't get me wrong, I think Betty Mario is pretty good. But I think out of all the collab units that we've gotten, right? Slime, ReZero, um, Guilty Gear, Full Metal Alchemist, like, all those collabs, I think Milam's my top three for best collab unit. Mainly because all of her utility, two, she's a mage, and three, she just works almost in any playstyle. Just brings her value up so high. And her builds are so flexible. She dies here, unfortunately. I, I think my favorite collab unit, though, is still Edward. Because Edward is just, like, the god of anti-cleave. And whenever you cleaved, having that viable option to make sure that you never really have to stress is great. But I think when it comes to more, you know, like, universally picking something, Milam is just better. Right? Um, I think Edward's my number one. I think, I think Roy or Karina would be my number two. I don't have Roy yet, but I know I really want him because he'd be really fun to play. Maybe Karina's my number two, or my, maybe Milam is number three for me. Like, Milam is awesome. Like, I, uh, I'm so glad that they brought back ReZero because, like, Milam is heavily underrated. No, it's not that she's underrated, it's just, um, the meta is so competitive right but she's so viable in this meta she makes things a lot more uh just a lot more safe because you don't have to be really scared of something that is stealth except for obviously specter tenebria right because that's you can't spot her so the having the ability to just disable artifact alone is really powerful the having the ability to bring an extra book is very powerful having the ability to have evasion and to spot stealth you know like uh it's like disabling guiding light pretty much is so viable like her her utility and her kit is irreplaceable and then on top of that they gave him her a really really good exclusive equipment which has me hopeful for the future for future reruns so whenever they do rerun you know guilty gear units i assume they're going to be getting exclusive equipments to make them a bit better whenever they rerun zero, zero units i assume that they're going to give ram amelia you know those those really necessary um, exclusive equipments, because let's be honest, Rim could do something in her kits, and I think a good thing that she could get is more HP in the substat or the uh, health stat of the uh, in in her exclusive equipment that helps her with something. I don't know what it would be, but gives her a little bit more of an oomph into her kit. For Amelia, it would be the same thing as like Destina, just give her a speed in her in hers, because she's supposed to be an aggro like Soul Reaver anyway. So for Destiny, I just give her a 10 plus 10 speed exclusive equipment and just up the value of her skills. Just have one do something special that makes her differentiate from Destina and makes it to more, uh, not, not Destina, but uh, uh, what's her name? Deanne, uh, that makes her more of aggressive, like aggressive pick. Maybe she's doing something else, and that's the game. Um, Millum claps some cheeks here. I'm very happy with it. Sorry, I went on off on our like a uh, our ramble on uh, collab units, but uh, I will be updating my tier list. I think relatively soon. I've used Benny Maru. I've used all the sign units. I have a good idea. Um, now, if you're asking me who you should summon for, like right now today, like you have the bookmarks for one of these three, by far, 
Millum. Millum is the best collab out of uh, the best unit out of all. Like Benny Mara is cool, cool, but he's gonna be more for Guild Wars than anything. Rimuru is cool, but um, he has some issues where Millum just feels like the perfect unit when it comes to what she's trying to do, which is be very diverse to many playstyles. She's a mage, she can hold a book. Her own artifact's really great if you don't want to build her own book and works for counter. Like, she's just really good for Banshee players. She's good for um, Wyvern players. She's good for anyone that wants a good unit. She's just going to be good. So Milim is the best out of all three uh, when it comes to Benny Mario and Primiru and Milim. It's 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 hands down Milim. Milim's the best out of all three. I would do a multi right now to even prove it. To I will do a multi. I would not mind another Milim. I would not mind another Milim. That doesn't prove for you. I don't know what it does. Millum's amazing. You should get yourself a Millum. Um, but that's going to be it for the video. That's my Millum. I will be switching her exclusive equipment here, hopefully, soon. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, I really want a Millum. Please. It always, it's always on the second multi, don't you know? It's the rules of the game. Damn. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, unfortunately, I did not pull a Millum here. Uh, when does her banner leave? Her banner leaves on the 17th. So she's here for three more days, depending on where this is this video. I think I might release it tomorrow or the day after. I don't know. Release it soon. So yeah, keep your eyes out. I might do some more multis on Milum uh, to try to pull one more copy of her because I really enjoy her. But that's just because I really think this unit is that good. So I'll talk to you later. Peace. <laughs> I hit stop. And I instantly hit record again, so awesome.